Yeah, so it's, a, it's looking at measuring the water usage in a tailwater backup system. So the water usage in siphon systems has been evaluated on numerous occasions where it hasn't been done uh, extensively in these bankless systems as they are now. Um, so we'll be looking at measuring a lot of the water parameters, water onto the field, water off the field, and, and creating some benchmark or uh, efficiency targets and um, parameters around what we achieve there with the aim of it being a more sustainable um, productivity within the industry. From a point of view of measuring, um, water is the main aim. So initially the grower has installed a, a ultrasonic meter at the outlet to his dam, uh, which is also where his pump feeds through so we can measure the volume of water being put onto the field. As a cross check, we're actually running some sensors within the pipes that are the inlets to the, each bay. They're on the bays that are being monitored. Um, they're a, a Doppler ultrasonic sensor, so they, they measure the velocity of the water and from that can be calculated the quantity of water that's put onto a field. Then as the water uh, is irrigating in a, within a bay, we have some advanced meters. These are, are spaced at specific intervals and, um, and the time of, is measured for the water to reach each one of those sensors and, and that can be sort of reverse calculated and, and worked out how that water is infiltrating the soil and how uniformly it's been distributed within the soil. We'll also have capacitance probes, which are pretty common in the industry that just measure um, the water left in the soil. So it gives you a bit of an idea of, of where the crop usage of water is at and when it might need to be irrigated next. Um, we'll also have in there um, some little gyp rock sensors and they, uh, they're uh, an alternative to the capacitance probes but they're fairly new within the cotton industry and there's been some historical issues with them, but um, no, they've come a, come a reasonable distance and uh, show some potential there. So we'll run them beside the capacitance probes to see how they work from a perspective of scheduling irrigation. Then finally, the water off the field. Um, the water in this scenario is um, running back through a rectangular structure called a Padman outlet and um, by measuring the depth there and, and it's a gravity fall, we can actually calculate the volume of water that comes off the field. Now, one of the unique things about this system is it's a tail water backup. So um, within this design, there are three bays per tail drain outlet, um, nine bays in total in the field. And um, when the first bay waters, it then contributes its tail water to the next bay um, downstream of it and uh, it backs up into the system shortening the, interv the interval to uh, irrigate the next bay um, and that's part of the efficiency of the system there um, so we'll be aiming to, to measure that as part of the process.